Hello, good people, and welcome to another episode of Money Matters with Excel. Here, we share tips and tricks on how you can better manage your finances using simple Microsoft Excel templates. If you have been following this series, thank you. If you are just joining us for the first time, please check our playlist for previous episodes. While you are there, please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. Well, in this episode, we want to correctly calculate the cost of the goods that you sell. Now, this is important because you probably go to the market, you buy the goods you sell at different times and maybe at different prices. To correctly calculate your profits, you need to take into account all the timings and the different purchases and the different prices. Okay, if you like, this is the concept of first in, first out valuation. So we are going to use a very simple example on how you can calculate this in Excel so that you can also calculate your profits well. So if you are game, join me and let's go through this in a few minutes. Okay, so in the end, we are going to create this simple template. I have two worksheets here. So on the sales, this is just a simple table recording how much I sold for each day and then the selling price for the item. I've calculated the revenue over here. Now, this is what we want to concentrate on, how to calculate the cost of goods sold, right? Then after, we'll get our profit. I also have calculations for the total quantity sold, total quantity purchased, and then the units remaining. Now, to calculate this particular figure, okay, we've created this schedule, which records the different times we bought our items and the prices that came along with it. So the items are recorded here. Okay, so these blue lines will tell you how many times we've bought an item. And then we'll calculate the cost of the item we purchased, right? Then we'll create this dynamic formula that would at every point in time tell us how much of the item we bought has been sold. Okay, it's a dynamic formula, so it just goes down as you keep selling on that particular line. And then we we'll calculate the units remaining, the cost of goods sold, and the inventory value. Okay, so this is what we are going to use to now correctly calculate the cost of goods sold we have at every point in time. So that is just a simple overview. Now let's get to it. Of course, we'll share the finished workbook with you so that you can also practice along. Okay, so this is our purchases. So if I go to the market, I buy 43 units and this is the unit price. Okay, so the cost of the quantity purchased is a simple multiplication. So I'll take 43 and then multiply this by 2.50 and then I'll copy this down. Show D to do that. Now, here I want to calculate whether I've sold all the 43 or not. Okay, if I've sold more than the 43, then it should also go into the next cell and then bring in the next level of items I bought. Okay, so to calculate this, we are going to take into consideration how much we've sold so far, right? So let's calculate this. So this is going to be the main formula. So what main does is that it compares two values and returns the minimum. If you have not sold anything, okay, it is the quantity that we've purchased right now if you have sold something i'm going to sum so here i'm going to sum the sales table so the sales table is table one i've not really named it so if i go in there the quantity sold is this so i'm summing that i'll close my bracket right and then i'm going to subtract this from how much i have sold up to the level i'm in Okay, so here I'm going to do a simple sum. Go up, okay, and then reference the cell above. So F7 to F7. I did that with a column, right? And then I'll close my bracket here and then close my final bracket. But before we copy this down, what we are going to do is to lock the first reference, which is F7. Okay, so I'll lock this with the F4 dollar sign at row level so that it gives me an expanded range as I go down. Okay, so if I do this, it means that this 43 is gone. Okay, let me copy this down and then demonstrate how this works. So if I copy this down, so far we've sold, um, if I sum this, 
Okay, so far we sold 67. Right, 67 knocks off the 43, and then the remainder is also taken from the 42. Right, we can confirm this over here. So if I come here, I do a sum, you realize that we've sold 67. Right, if I have not sold more than 43, let's say if I do 43, what's going to happen is that this one is not going to calculate, it will just calculate for the first level. Right, so that is how this works. Okay, so now that we've calculated this, let's calculate the units remaining. So the units remaining is going to be the quantity I purchased, okay, minus the quantity I have sold, which is this. So if I have not sold that level of purchase, then it stays intact, okay. But if I have sold, then the subtraction goes on like that. Now the cost of the goods I have sold is equal to the units sold multiplied by the unit price okay so i have this copy this down okay then the inventory value so this is the inventory value how much is remaining so the amount remaining times the unit price okay so that's also copy this down for this table is expandable so you can always add more and then copy down the formulas so now that we have this what it means is that if I want the cost of goods sold, it's going to be the sum of this column, right? Which is dynamic. So now let's calculate for revenue, cost of goods sold, and our profit. Okay, so for revenue, it's a simple quantity sold by selling price. Okay, so if you are using a recent version of Excel with dynamic arrays, now you can just do a sum highlights the quantity sold which is the range and then multiply directly with the range that has the selling price okay so this will now go through the iteration and then sum the multiplication so this is typically like some products right but if you don't have it right alternative is to use the generic sum products okay so we are highlighting this range okay and then we'll just highlight this range as well Okay, so some product multiplies and then it sums, gives you the same thing, right? So for our cost of goods sold, which we've calculated already, this is going to be the sum, right? So I'll come here and then highlight the whole of this column because I expect the range to expand. So I'm summing the whole of that column and then I'll get this, okay? Then my profit is going to be this minus that. So this is 68.40. Okay, now the total quantity sold is going to be a sum of the quantity that I have sold here. Okay, so I have this just to help me track. And the total quantity that I have purchased is also going to be a sum of this over here. Okay, then I can calculate the units remaining okay, to help me keep track. So that is going to be this. Okay. So in the end, you've set up this dynamic template. Okay, so if you sell, let's say I sell um, 60 more units. So if I sell 60 more units at the same four cities, okay, now this goes up and then I have my revenue going up. My quantity sold has gone up to 127. Okay, then let's check it from here. So you realize that now this first level has been completely sold the second level has been completely sold as well and then the remainder which is 42 okay so if i sum the whole of this okay. so if i sum the whole of this this gives me 127 and that 127 is correctly valued and i can get my cost of goods sold over here which is now the figure that has been referenced here okay so We'll share this template with you. You can add on, but the goal is that as you buy at different times and at different prices, you can correctly use this to calculate the cost of the goods you sold at that point in time. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Please subscribe and then join us for the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. If this video was helpful and you would like to receive more of these videos directly on your WhatsApp, you can send ad to this WhatsApp number will add you to our broadcast list so you receive our videos directly. 
You can also visit our YouTube channel, Finest Skills Hub. All our old videos are here. Please subscribe for notification of new videos or connect with us on any of these social media handles. Thank you so much for watching.